hello everyone welcome to this video so guys uh, as of now we have completed our uh, all this utility and uh, this logger and everything and now uh, here you can see there are lots of files and folders okay now one question you can ask me like uh, which file to change first okay so in this video i will give you the workflows like what are the stages actually we are gonna follow okay to implement this entire application so for this i will open my readme.md okay so here let me write uh, all the workflows actually i'll be following okay so let me just comment it out so that actually it will uh it will be a reference for you whenever you are trying to implement any project okay you can follow the same workflows so let me write the workflows here okay so the first thing actually we'll be doing uh we'll update okay we'll update something in this config.yaml config dot uh, yaml file okay so there is a config.yaml file you have uh, this is the config config.yaml file okay so in this uh, config.yaml file we need to make change first of all so after that uh, we need to update uh, update uh, this uh, secret.yaml okay secret so in this project actually i'm not using secret.yaml but uh, if you are like uh, taking some credential suppose if you are taking some secret credential suppose you are connecting with your database and uh, you need some you can say authenticate okay password and like username okay so at that time don't provide uh, this thing actually in the code okay otherwise what will happen people can also access uh, your account okay so instead of just keeping okay as hard code what you can do you can create one uh, like file called secret.yaml okay in this secret.yaml actually you can mention these are the thing okay so this is going to be totally optional okay so it's not like that you need to use in every project but if you are using some uh, cloud credential okay so you can keep those are the credential inside the secret.yaml okay uh, for this case actually i'm not using any secret.yaml so you can ignore it okay so now uh, third actually i'll be updating my params okay params.yaml i think you remember here we created one uh, file called params.yaml so in this params.yaml actually what are the things actually we need to keep okay we need to keep our like you can say model related parameters okay uh, suppose uh, the number of epochs you are training okay then um, what would be the batch size okay uh, what would be this uh, what would be the optimizer okay so these are the like model related parameters you can keep so any kinds of training parameters okay whenever you are taking you instead of hard code those value okay, you can take inside uh, like parameters uh, so that actually if you need okay uh, in future you can change it here okay it will reflect in your code okay so that's why actually we keep these are the model or training related parameters inside this param.yml okay now once param.yml is done now i'll update okay uh, in my entity update the entity entity okay entity so there is an entity we uh, okay module we have created so we need to update this entity now i'll tell you what is the entity okay uh, it would be like your uh, you can say kinds of data class kinds of entity okay i'll tell you what is entity and all then uh, once we have updated the entity i also need to update uh, the configuration okay uh, manager okay configuration manager uh, in src uh, config okay so here if you see another config we have created uh, inside src folder we have created something called config okay inside that config we will be creating something called configuration configuration manager okay so this configuration manager we need to update now six steps actually we need to update our components okay we will be updating the components okay so these are the components actually so inside components we'll be taking uh, like lots of components like data indication then uh, model training model evaluation okay so these are the component we need to update one by one now once uh, components is done then i need to update my pipeline okay update the pipeline okay update the pipeline so here i have created another uh, module called pipeline okay so we need to update inside pipeline now once pipeline is ready so we'll finally update our main.py okay main.py main.py would be your endpoint okay so here actually we'll be writing all of our you can see starting code uh, but in this case actually we haven't created this main.py yet okay i'll be creating later on whenever i'll be completing all this uh, like components and all okay so these are some uh, basics eight steps actually we'll be following okay to update this project or to implement this project 
so whenever you are creating any projects just try to follow follow okay this sequence okay first of all update your config then secret then params then entity then configuration then components then pipeline then main okay so that's actually you can track your uh, code okay like what you are doing okay so this was just a quick video i just wanted to show you like uh, how our project uh, workflow will look like okay now i think you got it so yes guys this is all about uh, from this video so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time